In Ruiz Ro You Love, we can see the Empress Dowager is a smoker, but we never see Qianlong's Imperial women smoke. So, in real history, did the Qing Imperial women smoke? The answer is yes. For example, Qianlong's consort Lin was a smoker. In the historical documents, Qianlong gave the consort Lin high-quality cut tobacco as gifts. In Ruiz Ru Yu Lao, the tool used by the Empress Dowager to smoke is called the Shui Yan Hu Hookah. The Empress Dowager Cixi really loved smoking. After Cixi passed away, her favorite hookah was buried with her. Today, if you visit the Palace Museum, you may have a chance to see Cixi's hookah. In Guangxu's time, cigarettes first appeared in China. The last Empress Wen Rong smoked about 50 cigarettes per day. Tobacco came into China in late Ming Emperor Wan Li's time. At the very beginning, tobacco was a kind of medicine. But when time went to the late Ming Dynasty, tobacco already became a common customer goods, just like one entity. Ming last Emperor Chongzhen seriously banned tobacco. Tobacco in Chinese is yan cao. In Ming northern area, people call smoke chi yan, eat tobacco. Meanwhile, in Ming dynasty, the capital was called yan jing which is today's Beijing, because the character Yan and Yan have the same pronunciation. Chongzhen believed Chi Yan represents eating the capital, which was the sign that Ming Dynasty would end. In Chongzhen's time, inside the country, rebellions commonly happened. Outside the country, Qing was trying to conquer Ming, so I understand why Chongzhen punished the order of banning tobacco. In Chongzhen's time, Qing country was ruled by Huang Taiji. Huang Taiji also punished the order to ban tobacco. I guess Huang Taiji didn't know Chinese well, or she should encourage people to eat tobacco to curse the Ming Dynasty. If he did, maybe in his time, Qing already replaced the Ming. In Nur Hanshi's time, Ming armies brought tobacco into Liaodong area. Then tobacco quickly became very popular among Manchuria nobles. Because at that time, Manchuria people didn't grow tobacco. Importing was the only way that Manchuria people could get tobacco. So, tobacco was very expensive. Starting from 1630, Huang Taiji frequently gave tobacco to other nobles as gifts. But, in 1639, Huang Taiji published a formal order to ban tobacco. This because many regular people spent lots of money on tobacco. Unfortunately, this order didn't work because Manchuria nobles loved tobacco so much, they didn't follow the order. So, only two years later, Huang Taiji had to cancel his order. Then, tobacco was widely grown in northern, in northeast area. Southern people said there were three weird things in northern east 
area. One weird thing is 姑娘叼着大烟袋 which means Manchuria girls smoke. Han Chinese girls also smoke, but they usually secretly smoke in their home. Manchuria girls were allowed to smoke publicly. After Manchuria people conquered China, they kept this habit. So, in the Qing Dynasty, no surprise that imperial women, noble women, and regular Manchuria girls smoked. By the way, in Ruiz Rou Yu Lao, Empress Xiaoxian put her newborn prince in a swing. I think this is accurate. Putting the newborn in a swing was one of three weird things in northeast area. Today, if you visit Shenyang Imperial Palace, you can see the similar swing in Guanju Palace. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.